Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Are you ready for action? <clears throat> Hello, Selmi. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Today I see you in the 70s. I don't know why. I see you today. In, in, today I see you in the 1970s. I don't know why. Ah. 1970s. <laughs> white? Ah, no, black and white. Black and white, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You remember the videos of that time? Yeah. Music <laughs> time. Some of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome on board. Thank Ada, you, teacher. Yes. Ada Patricia, welcome on board. Ricardo Alexis <clears throat> and Mayrita, welcome on board. Good evening, everyone. Today is February the 23rd. And today we're going to be working on stages of brand awareness. Okay. Stages of brand awareness. This is class 22. So we have three more classes. Soon, we're going to be having uh, the Encuesta de Satisfacción, right? It's going to be on Monday. When you receive the information, don't do it. Wait for Monday. Together, we will do it on Monday, okay? Let's see, welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. This is the specific objective. Okay. And this is tonight's objective. This is the class for tonight to acquire new vocabulary about brand awareness. In the agenda tonight, we're going to be talking about music. There's going to be a dialogue about music. We're going to talk about brand stages and then brand awareness, what we didn't finish yesterday, we'll pick it up today. And hopefully we have time to work on the table. <clears throat> okay. So let's begin from the beginning, okay? Let's see who's here and who isn't here. <clears throat> Ada Patricia Linares. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Anaselmi Chévez. Good evening teacher, present. Yes, welcome on board. Ana Michelle Guevara. Michelita. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Angelita. No. Not yet. Okay. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Excellent. Nice. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Welcome on board. Jose Carlos Arieta. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Ira Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Welcome on board. Nelson Hernando Sanchez. Hello, present teacher. Okay, welcome on board. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Here, here, teacher. Okay, yes, welcome on board. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Dr. Osmin. Welcome on board. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, present. Okay, good evening. Nice. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez. Rosa Elena Salgado. 
Sandra Gladys Mendez, Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Jancy, welcome on board. Zulma Rosaura López. Present. Welcome on board. Jorge Maria Carvalho. Florcita, not with us. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Marvin, no Marvin. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Susana Carolina Hernández. No. Dani Anthony Sibuenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Fuentes. Present teacher. Excellent, my friend. Welcome on board. Eduardo Ernesto Fernandez, Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Enjoy your food. Yes. Welcome on board. La Veronica Vasquez. Present teacher. Good evening. Perlita, welcome on board. Okay. Well, let's begin. Let's begin. Hey, present teacher. My microphone was off. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Okay, so a warm up. We're going to be working on the warm up right now. So tonight is music. Music. Okay. What can you tell me about music? <clears throat> is music important? Yeah, for me it's important. Mm -hmm. So for my age, maybe I like the 70s music and 80s music. 70s and 80s, right? Mm -hmm. And all yeah, and all music. Yeah. Yeah, okay. In English. Yes. Excellent. Nice. So menos rancheras. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. You love Vicente Fernandez. Okay. Excellent. So, okay. <laughs> Somebody else? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody else's opinion? The music. In my case, I think that it's important because it help, helps me to mm -hmm. improve my English. Okay, help to improve your English, yes, it does. Definitely, okay, very good, thank you. How about Don Osmin? Yeah, teacher, uh, music is good. I, I like the music, gospel. Gospel music, okay. Yes. Spanish. I like uh, music. Spanish it's and English. English. Spanish and English. Spanish. Yes. Chete Fernandez. Ah, Vicente Fernández. Yes. Ricardo. Like oh, you like Vicente Fernández. Okay. Los oh. iracundos. Los iracundos. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So, nice. Other people, what type of music do you like? In my case, teacher, the music is very important in my life because it's a way in I relaxing. Okay. And I like the music in English and in Spanish, the 70s, 80s, 90s. 70s, 80s, and 90s. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good. So, what kinds of music do you know? What kinds of music do you know that there are? Rock, rock, yeah. rock. Met, metal, metal. Rock, <laughs> heavy metal, yeah. rock. Yes. Uh, what else? Pop, Pop. Roman. 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 romantic, gospel, bachata, gospel, Cumbia. Yeah, gospel. Music. techno, techno, yeah, jazz. Uh, so, R and B, rhythm and some blues, right? R and B. Rhythm and blues, yeah. R and B, yes. What else? Christian music. Yeah, Christian music. Gospel. Gospel. 
Cosmos. Is music classic? Classic. Music. And then instrumental music. Instrumental. instrumental. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? What other types of music? Relaxing music. The music, the techno, technotronic or electronic. House, acid. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Which of these can be danced? Which of the music that we mentioned people can dance to? All of it. All of it. Even, even gospel, I have seen some people singing and they are dancing. Okay. All right. So, uh, is, is Danny dancing? Reggaeton. No. Wow. Uh, teacher, no like. <laughs> teacher, in my case, I dance soft rock and in the cumbias. Pop, pop music. Uh huh. In the cumbias, I don't know. Cumbias, uh -huh. merengues. Yes. Yeah. Bachata, salsa. Bachata, salsa. Yeah, I know. You know. Tex Mex and uh -huh. okay. <laughs> no, Tex Mex, no. <laughs> La quebradita. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. They're, they're, they're high. Pipi -pipi <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pipi -pipi yeah. Some people say some people say that dancing uh, Christian music or gospel is uh, bad, but no, it's not true. Uh, David danced, okay? David danced, and uh, there are other prophets that danced. So I don't think that is bad. The thing is the purpose. Why do you dance? If you dance before God because you want to worship God, that's good. But if you want to dance for other reasons, but that's for fun, it's also good. So it's not, not bad, depending on the type of dancing, right? Sensual music, that's another story, but, but other ones is not bad. All right, what so, do so, Yes, Tony, sorry, not... sorry, but I, I talk about the heavy metal, all a different sound. That is not music for me, but it's a sound. Noise might be. Maybe noise, even you hear cats and dogs there. Hey. <laughs> like, like this four cats yeah, and they go so, so so i i i i see the different the acdc but they're different at this here the song music. demons jumping from one place to another <laughs> yeah yeah with acdc and all of that type of music okay yeah all right what do we use music for good evening good evening good evening Good evening, Angelita. Why do we use music for? In my case, principal is relax. For relaxing, right? At, relaxing at night for mm -hmm. after sleep or before sleeping. Yeah, sorry, before sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people use it to concentrate while working, right? Me. <laughs> I listen to music. I put my earphones and I, I was listening to music. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Music relaxes you. Okay. It's very good. So, um, what else? What else can we say about music? What else do we use music for? Music is used in commercials. The tune that you hear in the music. Okay. Um, in movies? In movies. You yeah. see in movies, in series. In even, series, yes. Even in the news, or even in yeah. sports programs, you hear. The intro. Music, right? Yeah. In football games, soccer games, etc. You hear music. OK. Also, concert. People use music for concerts. They get together. They listen to the music. They enjoy. And uh, we also listen to music I mean, to worship God, right? 
music for God and we sing. Okay. What else do we use music for? Uh, when I, I sleep, I, I use music for, uh -huh. med for meditation in the Bible. I, I like it. Okay. So you're reading the Bible and you're listening to music. Okay. Exactly. It's good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. So can you live without music? Do you think that it's possible to live without music? I don't, I don't believe so. Imagine a world that is all quiet. No, Silent. Sound, no sounds of birds because birds, the singing is music too. So no music, no sounds, no nothing at no all. Sounds. Even, even, even the birds. Yeah, so it's very, Sad, very sad. It's tragic. It's tragic. It's tragic. 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 Okay. Now, the people, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, the people I, I think no like uh, with music because it's part of your life. Exactly, music is part of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Tuval. Uh, one of one son of Cain, Cain was son of Cain. Tubal was the first one to make music. He is considered the father of music, and he invented several of the oldest instruments. Of course, they began using the music, and they influenced other people. Okay, so then. Imagine from Cain, from Cain <laughs> comes the music, right? So it's unbelievable. And music is something good because angels sing too, right? So, and the one that had the, the best voice, devil. <laughs> the devil had the, base, the best voice when he was good, but then he was bad, okay? Because of bunny. Well, all right. So this is and what's your favorite kind of music? You already told me. Ignacio told me that he loves rancheras, especially Vicente Fernandez. Okay, that's very good. No, I don't I don't like Vicente Fernandez. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No rancheras teacher. No rancheras teacher. No, no rancheras, no cumbias. No Spanish music teacher. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Right. Excellent. Nice. All right. We're going to be reading about music. So later we're going to practice reading things. We're going to begin reading. It says music is the universal language. Every country has its own language or languages in the case of Switzerland. There's only one language we can all understand, the language of music. Some people say that mathematics is a language, music is another language, love is another language. All the people understand those languages, except for mathematics that is more difficult. Okay, we don't even need words to understand what music is saying. Every year, I see a lot of different people from a lot of different countries attend festivals. When the music is being played, it seems everyone understands what's coming out of the speakers and they just start dancing. Ambience, environment, ambience. Music creates ambience and it adds up to the experience of whatever you're doing. Can you imagine a party without music? Sports event without music? Or a movie without music? Probably not. Music unites puts people together, brings people together. Music plays a very important role in bringing people together. Whether it's a festival, concert, or club night, people come together to enjoy the music that's being played. I've never had the privilege to attend any big festival, but it would be amazing to see the amount of people coming from different countries in the whole world, just to be part of the experience. At festivals like Tomorrowland or Ultra, you'd see a lot of people from all over the world enjoying the whole musical experience. It doesn't matter where you come from, 
everyone is treated the same. This is something we can all learn from. Focus. If I have to do some business related stuff, I'd like to put on some music at the background in order to focus a little better. It is scientifically proven that music enhances brain functioning. Besides, listening to music in an environment with other people also makes sure you don't get distracted by other people's noises. For me as a teacher, a good side thing is get inspired a lot by listening to music while I'm busy getting things ready for class. Emotions. Music can do great things for your mood. If you want to follow, no, if you want to feel happy, you can listen to songs that are happy. And this works for, uh, the other way around too. When you love someone in your life, it's helpful to listen to sad songs. Science says listening to sad songs can actually make you happier. If you want to know more about this, Mr. Goggle knows a lot. Imagination. I don't think I'm the only person who listens to music and instantly has a vision in my head of surroundings that would fit that particular music piece. Music lets your imagination flow and that's obviously a good thing for your creativity and health. It allows you to imagine places you've never even been to. Memory. Music is good for your memory. I bet you can remember the lyrics of a bunch of songs much better than an article you recently read. In nursing homes, they started using musical therapy in order to let the elderly remember things of their past, which they couldn't remember without listening to music. It's just a pleasure. I'll close off with probably the most important reason why we listen to music. It's just a pleasure to listen to music. So let's just continue doing so. If you happen to be in need of any music at all, you may want to try YouTube for a change. Also in SoundCloud, Spotify, or other streaming services, you can find the type of music you love. Why not give them a try? Besides, Spotify, SoundCloud are free. And YouTube too. The, the videos, the music is free and you can find all kinds of music. All right, so this is what you have to read. So you're going to be reading in the groups with your partners. Oki and Doki. Let's make the groups. Today we're 22, five groups will do. No, I'm going to create the same six. The same six. Okay. Groups are beginning.
Miss Chair, the share the, the presentation. I need of Kim. Okay, go ahead, my friend. Do it. You can do it now. <clears throat> You watch yes. the presentation. Okay. Yes. Who is star? Me. The universal language. Why every country has its own language? There is only one language we can all understand. The language of music, we don't even need a word to understand. What music is saying? Every year I see a lot of different people from a lot of different countries attending festivals. When the music is being played, it seems everyone understands what's coming out of the speakers and they just start dancing to it. Ambience, ambience, music created ambience. It's add up to the experience of whatever you are doing. Can you imagine a party without music, a sport event with music, without music, or movie without music? Probably not. Next, Raphael. Me, okay. Music units. Music plays a very important role in bringing people together. Whether it's a festival, concert, or a club night, people come together to enjoy the music that's being played. I've never had the privilege to attend any big festivals, but it will be amazing to see the amount of people coming from different countries in the whole world just to be part of the experience. Angel? Adriana? You can read? You yes. Start. Uh, the, the read universal. the slide. Yes, the universal language. The amount of the people, of people uh, coming from different uh, countries in the world war just to be part of that experience. Okay. Falta mm. Osmin. Okay, perdón, perdón. Ah, continue. Sí, 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 yes. perdón. At a festival likes uh, Tom Rogland or Ultra. You, you you'll see a lot of people from all over the world. Uh, the world music, musical experience it doesn't ma matter where you come from. Everyone the traffic the the sun. This is something. Uh, we can we can all learn from okay focus if i have to do some business related stuff i like to put to put on some music at the background in order to focus a little better it is scientifically proven that music exchange brain functioning besides Listening to music in an environment with other people also makes sure you don't get distracted by other people's noise. For me, as teacher, as a teacher, a good side thing is I get inspired. I get inspired a lot by listening to music while I am busy getting things ready for class. Okay. 
Okay, emotion. Music can do great things for your mood. If you want to feel happy, you can listen to songs that are happy and this works the other way around too. When you lose most you, you lose someone if your life is helpful the, to listen to sad songs. A science says listening to sad songs can actually make you happy. If you want to know more about this, Google knows a lot. Right. Continue imagination. I don't think I am the only one who listen to music and instantly has a vision in my head of surrounding that world with that particular music. A good side thing is a get inspiring and a lot be listened to music while I am busy getting team ready for class. Okay, continue Adriana. Okay. Adri. Um, emotions, emotions. Yeah. Music can do great things for you mood. If you want to feel happy, you can listen to songs that are happy and this works the other way around too. When you lose some in your life, it's helpful to listen to sad songs. Science says listening to sad songs can actually make you happier. If you want to know more about this, Google knows a lot. Okay, box in the slate. Carlita, music unit. Music unit. Music plays a very important role in a bringing people together. Whether it's a festival concert or a club. I bet you can remember the little, little of a bond the song much better than an articular you recently read. In nursing home, homes, they start using music therapy in order to let the elderly remember things of their past, which they could remember without listening to music. It is just a pleasure. I close off with probably the most important reason why we listen to music. It's a just pleasure to listen music. So let's just continue doing so. If you happen to be in, in net or any music at all, you, you may want to cry you to be for a change. Also, in, in some club, Spotify, or other streaming service, you can find the, the type of ambience. Music creates ambience. It adds up to the experience of whatever you are doing. Can you imagine a party without music, a sport even without music, or a, mu or a movie? Without music, probably not. Music unit, unit. Music plays a very important role in bringing people together, whether it's a festival, con concert, or a club night. People come together to enjoy the music that's being played. I, I've never had the privilege, privilege, privilege to attend any big festival. But it could be amazing to see the amount of people coming from different countries in the world world, just to be part of the experience. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Imagination. No, it's, it's, it's the other, yeah. Oh. Mm. No. Oh, sorry. Mm. Enjoying the world experience. experience. It doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone is treated the same. Is this is something we can all learn from? Okay. Okay, Ophelia. Okay. Fox. Fox. It has to you so me who sees a real stuff I like to put on so many music at the backgrounds ba, ba in order to fox a leader but is scientific scientifically a problem I just music. A narcissist, a brain listening to me. Okay, continue, Rafa. It's just a pleasure. I'll close off with probably the most important reason why we listen to music. It's just, just a pleasure to listen to music. So let's just continue doing so. If you happen to be in need of any music at all, you may want to try the two for a change. Also in some cloud, Spotify or other streaming service, you can find the type of music you love. Why not give them a try? Okay. What opinion in, in, in study in in the first presentation or continue review? Hello, the inicio de la uno otra vez o in you, in you are... okay sorry. How many slides are three? Jimmy. Three. Yes. Okay, continue. Uh, edit number four, number one. To review. Okay. The Question. Okay. The universal language. Why every country has its own own language? There is only own own language we can all understand. The language of music. We don't have we don't even be need more on the understand what music is saying. Every year I see a lot of different people from a lot of different countries attending festivals. When the music is a begin player, I see every everyone remember without listening. It's just a pleasure. I close off with probably the most important reason why we listen to music. It's just a pleasure to listen to music. So let's just continue doing so. If you happen to be in need of, of any music at all, you may want to try YouTube for a change. Also, in SoundCloud, Spotify, or other streaming service, you can find the type of music you love why not give them a try? Okay, right. Angela? Hello, uh, excuse me, I have a problem. Um, <laughs> um, no, no veo, chicos. <laughs> ¿Dónde están leyendo? En, eh, en el chat. Ah, ok, 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 en chat. Yeah. Chat? Yes. yes. Nobody. Nobody. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Nobody. 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 N
No, permítanme. No, I... Voy a intentar compartirlo ahora. Ay, no. Ay, ok. Es que... Service. You can find the kind of the music you love. Why not give them a try? Okay, I, I I want to read the three last one concept. Imagination. I don't think I am the only one who listens to music and instantly has a vision in my head of surrounding that world for that particular music piece. Music lets your imagination flow and and that's obviously a good thing for your creativity and health. It allows you to imagine, please, your be never even to memory. Music is good for your memory. I believe you can remember the lyric of a bunch of song much better than an article you recently read. In nursing home, they started using musical therapy. Complete teacher. Okie dokie. That's nice. Very good. In a moment, we're going to go back to the. Okay. One minute. It's nice that you finished. Excellent. Groups are closing. All right, now that everybody's out, <clears throat> let's continue with the dialogue. Let's see. Practice the following dialogue. Here we have tests. A young girl who is like 20 years old is talking to Mitch, a musician, a professional musician who is like about 34 years old. Okay, he's a very famous musician. So they are talking. Let's see, let's listen, let's listen and follow the dialogue. Hi, Mike. Where are you going with that guitar? The name is Mitch. I have a concert tonight and I'm take, taking off to a nice quiet spot where I can practice a bit. Can I come along? I promise I won't make any noise or interfere with your practice. I love music and I like to listen to your music. Listen to this, I don't mean to be rude, but this time I've gotta be all by myself if I want to do some good and needed practice. All right, I understand, but Promise me that you'll take me some time. Okay, I promise. Say, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you play? No, this isn't fair. I asked first. I like pop music, electronic, jazz, and rock. Do you play any of those? You happen to be in, in luck. I play pop, rock, and techno. Okay, again. Hi, Mike. What are you going to with that, with that guitar? The name is Mitch. I have a concert tonight. 
and I'm taking off to a nice quiet spot where I can practice a bit. Can I come along? I promise I won't make any noise or interfere with your practice. I love music and I'd like to listen to your music. Listen Tess, I don't mean to be rude, but this time I've gotta be all by myself if I want to do some good needed practice. All right, I understand, but promise me that you'll take me some time. Okay, I promise. Say, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you play? Now, this isn't fair, I ask first. I like pop music, electronic, jazz and rock. Do you play any of those? You happen to be in luck. I play pop, rock and techno. Okay, so this is the dialogue. And the questions about the dialogue are, where is Mitch going? What does Tess want to do? Why doesn't Mitch let her? What kinds of music does Tess like? What kinds of music does Mitch play? So these are the questions, okay? So you're going to be practicing these two, these two slides, 14 and 15, okay? 14 and 15, so, okay, let's see. Okay, loops are opening. Let's go there. Image. Okay, start. Okay. Hi, Mike. Where are you going with that guitar? The name is Mitch. I have a concert tonight and I'm talking up to a nice, quiet spot where I can practice a bit. And I come along. I promise I want, I want make any noise or interfere interfere with your practice i love music and i like to listen to your music listen this i don't mean to be rude but this time i've got to go to real by myself if i want to do some good needed practice all right, I understand, but promise me that you you will, you will take me some time. Okay, I promise. Say what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you play? No, this isn't fire. I asked first. I like pop music, electronic, jazz, and rock. Do you do you play any of the of those? You happen to be in luck. I play pop, rock, and techno. Okay, Carlita. Okay. You test. Okay. Me, Mish. Okay. Hi, Mike. Where are you going with that guitar? The same, the name is Mitch. I have a concert tonight and I'm talking up to nice. To a... All right, I understand. But promise me that you'll take me some time. Okay, I promise. Say what kind of music to like. What kind of music do you play? No, this isn't far. I asked first. 
I like pop music, electronic, jazz, and rock. Do you play any of those? You happen to be in look. I play pop, rock, and techno, and romantic music, etc. <laughs> In classic <laughs> ranchera. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, it's me. Okay, ready. Okay, usted va a hacer test or Mitch. I have a concert tonight, and I'm taking off to a nice quiet a spot where I can practice a bit. Can I come along? I promise I won't make any noises or interfere with your practice. I love music and I I like to music to your music. I don't mean to be rude, but this time I be got to be all be myself myself if I want to do some good needed practice. All right, I understood, but promise, promise me that you'll, you'll take me some time. Okay, I promise. Say what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you do you play? No, this isn't fair. I ask it first. I like pop, pop music. I love electronic, jazz, and rock. Do you play any of those? You happen to be in luck. I play pop, rock, and techno. And techno. Yancy, yo seré Tess y usted Mitch, cambiemos el rol. Hi Mike, where are you going with that guitar? My name is Mitch, I have a concert tonight and I'm taking off to an, a nice quiet spot where I can practice a bit. Can, can, I, um, can I come along? I promise I won't make any noise or interfere with your practice. I love music and I like to listen to your music. Listen this, I don't mean to be rude, but this time I have go to be all my by myself. If I want to do some good needed practice all right i understand but promise me that you'll take me some one time okay i promise say what kind of music do you like what kind of music do you play no this isn't fun i asked first I like pop music, electronic, jazz, and rock. Do you play any of those? Uh, you, you happen to be in look. I play pop, rock, and techno. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, ya. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting. No sé no. ¿Quién cambia? This? Change the role, ustedes ahí. Okay, I'm start. Hi Mike, where are you going with that guitar? The name is Mitch. I had a concert tonight, and I am taking up a nice quiet spot where. I can practice. I like. I like it pop and romantic mm. music. I prefer the, the music in English. English or and Spanish too. Yeah, whatever. Ah. 
depend on my mood. <laughs> but for yeah. me, it's very important to listen to music because it keeps me more concentrated in my activities. But depending of the activities, yes. Mm -hmm. Depends. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. But and do you, but do you like the old music, I think? Yes, the 80s, old music. 90s. 80s, 90s, and now? 70s. Uh -huh. 70s, yes. And now, mm, for example, I, I like the music of Adele. Oh, Adele. Yeah. Yes. The voice yeah. is very, very... No, it's... Amazing, oh. amazing yeah. voice. Yes, yeah. in, in, how do you say? If you want, can you the the slide, what's meaning the slide? The what? What, what meaning the slide? Yeah. What is the word? Uh, question. Ah, what did what? The slide. The slide. The slide. The slide. Así como this one, quieres the slide? Other, other slide, other. Oh, the, this, this? Question. Oh, what kind of music <laughs> does this like? <laughs> oh, ¿Qué the música slide. le gusta? It's like, ¿qué ah, Tess es el, el name de la, de la girl. What kind of music does Tess like? Es como que diga, what kind of music does Sandra like? Mm, Sandra like, okay. Ajá, Tess is the name of the girl. Mm -hmm. Ajá, and like is gustar. Sí. Ajá, what kind of music does Tess like? ¿Qué tipo de música oh. le gusta? Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. como que le pregunten, what kind of music does Sandra like? Mm, yes. Uh -huh. It's like this, what kind of music does Mitch play? Mm, okay. Pop en techno. Mm -hmm. Pop, rock, and techno. Yes. Pop, rock, and techno. I think that... Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that everybody's back, let's see, where is Mitch going? Where's Mitch? Go to a concert. Okay, Mitch is going to a concert. Music concert. Uh -huh. But right now, where is he going? He's going to a quiet place to practice. Okay. He's going to a quiet place to practice. Okay. What does Tess want to do? Uh, 
he wants that? to go with him or with him uh-huh mm -hmm. to go with him but mitch says nope my wife is jealous okay <laughs> <laughs> now mitch says i need to concentrate yes no don't go he wants to be focused <laughs> Why doesn't Mitch let her go? Because he wants to concentrate. Okay, what mm -hmm. kind of music that says like? Jazz, pop music, jazz, rock, jazz, rock, rock, and rock. Pop music, mm -hmm. pop music, rock, jazz. So music does Mitch play? Pop, pop music, pop, rock, and techno. Rock and techno. Be, because have have a look. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, the look. Okay. Ah, no, she's she's lucky. She can like uh, the pop and rock music that he plays. Okay. Let's see. Uh, before we continue, we're going to be going to check who's here and who isn't here. Call the roll. Ada Patricia Lucas. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Nice, very good. Ana Micheles. Present, teacher. Excellent, very good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Great, nice. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present teacher. Very good. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Okay, good. Guadalupe Carlos López. Present teacher. Nice. José Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Urde eh, Beatriz Iraeta. Okay, Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present. Nice, very good. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Present. Nice, very good. Ofelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Nice, very good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Osmin, very good. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, present. Excellent, nice, niñita. Rafael Ernesto González. Present. Okay, nice, very good. Rosa Elena Salgado. Present teacher. Nice, Rosita, very good. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Present teacher. Excellent, Sandrita, nice, very good. Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Okay. Present. Nice, Jancy. Nice, very nice. Zulma Rosado Gómez. Present. Excellent, nice. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. René, Alex, René Osvaldo Bonilla. Susana Carolina Hernández. Eh, Danis Anthony, no, Dani Anthony Siguenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Jose Ignacio Franco. Here teacher in my hammock. In your hammock, right, relaxing. Okay. Carlos Vázquez. Okay. Present teacher. Excellent, nice, very good. Now let's continue. Task preparation, brand stages. Teacher, what is a stage? I don't understand the stage. It's a series of steps. We have like a stage, it's like a step. First step, second step, next step, etc. to the end. So steps, stages are like steps. Okay, so there is like um, one part of the work one part of the work that you do is one stage. 
the next part of the work that you do is the second stage. Then the next part of the work that you do is the next stage and so forth. Stages, okay? Let's see. Match the words and their meanings. These ones, we're going to do it together. Together and together. Brand recall. I would like a volunteer to read the first, this one. Me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, brand recall. And the ability, ability of consumer to recon, recognize and identify char, char, characteristic, 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 characteristic. Of, characteristic of one company versus a competitor. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. What about who wants to read the next one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Don, Don Ignacio. Okay. When brand recognition, uh -huh. when, such a, when such a strong emotional connection is created that not only does an audience refer their peers, but also release behind the brand in pursuit of the brand's own growth. Okay, thank you. The next one, who wants to read? Yes, my friend, please go ahead. Okay. The ability of consumer to think of brand name the for their member. When, a, uh, no when a brand when a brand has an no impact on the market because it hasn't uh, generated any interest in storm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who wants to read the next one? Me, me teacher. I de deviling us customer. I do think us a rise my from identity memory. There, I, I win. There, I too. Their memory. The memory. Uh -huh. I heard. When told. When told. When told. told. When told to thank you. Us a category. Us pro product. A product. Thank you very much. The last one. Who wants to read the last one? Me, Sandra. Okay, go ahead. Who know Brown? Uh -huh. A brand or a specific product pay first in a customer's means. Mine? Well, mines? Mm -hmm. Mines? When take of in a particular industry or category. Or category. Mm -hmm. category. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Very good. So let's try to put the things in. Simple words. The ability of consumers to recognize an identifying characteristic, a characteristic that identifies a product, okay? Or one company versus a competitor. What is this? Which one is this? Brand, brand recall, brand recognition. Brand recognition. Brand recognition. Brand recognition. Okay, let's say that it's brand recognition. Let's use the my my screen or pantalla dark teacher it's black you can read uh -huh. black you can re restart it so that uh -huh. my problem yes normally people say control <laughs> they say control and, uh, but there is another, but that is, I don't want you to get, you know, your brain of your computer either, so. So, why don't you go out and join again? Go out and join again, that can help you restore. Okay, when such a strong emotional connection is created that 
not only does an audience refer their peers, but also rallies, runs, right? Races behind the brand in pursuit of the brand's own growth. What is that? I think it's brand, brand dominance. Recall. Brand dominance, right? Uh -huh, brand dominance. Brand dominance, okay. Okie dokie. When a brand has no impact on the market because it hasn't generated any interest in customers. No brand. Exactly, an unknown brand. An unknown brand. Very good. Now, the ability of customers to think of a brand name from memory when told to think of a category of products. What is that? Brand recall. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So, it's true. Okay, excellent. Now, a brand of or a specific product first in customers' minds when thinking of a particular industry or category. Top of mind. Yeah, the one that is missing, top of mind. Uh, top, of, top of mind. No, top of not teacher, top of mind. All right, excellent. Top, top of mind. No deal idea. Okay. You say, teacher, what is the brand recall? You remember. You remember the brand. Recall is remember. Yes, I remember that word because there's a movie, Total Recall. Recall. When there something, there something. Total Recall. Are yes, put again? something in your memory. Uh-huh. Yes, sorry. Yes, Don Ignacio. Sandra. Miss Sandra. Sorry, Sandrita. Tell me, please. I will... Uh, uh, sacarme? Okay, sure. Ah, please. Yeah, no problem. It's okay. You may go ahead. Okay, so yeah, there are two movies, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and uh, there is one from two, 2012. I don't remember the name of the actor right now. Okay, so yes, recall, 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 right, so. Brand recognition, recognize. So you see it and you recognize it. You ah, this brand is, good. or you hear it and you remember, you recognize it. Top of mind, the first brand that comes to your to your name to, to your mouth, when someone says, "Rice, San Francisco," you say, "Okay." So, or some people say, "Corona." Okay. So that is brand, okay. I mean, the top of mind, it comes right off. Or when you think about beans, beans, okay. Sangre de toro, ah, okay, boom. You think about the, the beans, right? Or the uh, oro, I don't know what oro, <laughs> beans. So then you think about the brand, yeah, brand, okay. But top dominant, for example, when you say Gillette, what is Gillette? People understand Gillette is the name, but no, Gillette is the brand. The yes. name of oh, the shavers. Safety razors. Yes. Safety razors, that's the name. Brand, brand is. Um, I mean, the brand is Gillette, the name is the, or some people say Quaker, to say Quaker, Quaker. Quaker. That's yeah. not the name. I want to eat Quakers. Now they want to eat oatmeal, oatmeal, avena. That's the product. The name, the brand name is Quakers, right? Quakers. But, or some people say Cotex. Cotex, and the name is not Cotex, it's feminine towel. Or the same Kleenex. People say Kleenex, now Kleenex, no. It's tissue, face, tissue. 
face, teach. Or Kellogg's. <laughs> or say Kellogg's, no? Yeah. <laughs> Kellogg's with milk, no? Yeah. <laughs> you want to eat cornflakes. Yeah. Cornflakes. So that is. It's a. Where is your teacher? Sorry, my friend. It's a colgate. Ah, yeah. People say, Ooh, hey, do you have colgate? They don't say, do you have toothpaste? No, do you have colgate? Right? In the past, it was not uh, colgate, it was a uh, close up. You remember? Close up. Uh, close up. Close up. Close up is, uh, is a English. Yes, close up is English. Colgate is uh, English too. It's Colgate. Colgate. Ah, okay, Colgate. It's yes. Not, it's not Colgate, right? Not Colgate. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, it's not Colgate. It's Colgate. So, but the people say Colgate. So, it's Colgate. Colgate. Yes, Colgate. The people say yes. it's a it's a chocolate, chocolate, chocolate or, or chocolate. Chanclet? No, the uh -huh. chanclet is, uh, no. is what's the name? The one that is more common? Malco, it's, right? a, it's a chocolate chanclet. It's a, it's a, he escuchado dos, mean, dos, dos, dos tipos. Chanclet. Chanclet. Yes, dos tipos, dos, dos, dos tipos de, de people que expresan así. Chocolate. In English. Chocolate. Yes. Yes. Chocolate. chocolate or chocolate? Chocolate. 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 Mm -hmm. chocolate. Chocolate. No. Chocolate. No. That sounds more. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> but you have an idea, right? Yes. You have an idea what I'm talking about. All right. So when uh, Ricardo, when you're thinking about chocolate, what's Okay, what's the brand that comes to your mind? There are like about three brands that come to your mind like that. Old Spice. Sorry? Old Spice. Old Spice? <laughs> oh my it's, God. No, yes. this is chocolate. Uh, chocolate. No, oh. chocolate. Let's quick. Oh, to me, when it says chocolate in bars, bars of chocolate. Ah, you see, um, Hershey. Sneakers, Hershey's, Hershey's, sneakers, chows. Uh, People say chows, but chow is, yeah. is Chinese. Chow. Yeah, yeah. Shows, 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 yes. shows. Shows. shows, or Hershey's, or Snickers, right? But my favorite was always Popeye. Popeye. Oh yes, Popeye. Popeye. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> That was wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. I used to buy the, the whole bag. And I oh, you, you were rich, teacher. I only buy a little bit. <laughs> to give my students one each. One each. <laughs> ah, okay. 20 students and the whole bag. Was ah, okay. But it was very nice. Okay. For a good job. <laughs> For a job well done, yes. Okay, we and deserve a papay a papay teacher. Uh, oh yes, all of you deserve. <laughs> yes. Okay, what about an unknown brand? That an unknown brand. An unknown brand is one brand that. Is sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you see the things, but you don't know. What is the, the name of the brand? Name. Mm -hmm. exactly. What is that? What's the name? Because you didn't know. There are a lot of chinitos. <laughs> yes. Chinitos. What brand is chinitos? Chinitos. <laughs> Chinese products that you don't know what yes. those are. And you say, hey. Is this generic medicine, for example, oh, teacher? Medicine, too. Even generic medic medicine has a name, but okay, yes. Some brands get the blanket of a famous brand, like for example, in case of watches, 
Casio, and then they get Casi, oh, <laughs> or they get Acasio, or they get Casio with a Q, okay, things like that, or Ray Ban, they get Ray Bon. <laughs> oh my God. Bon, something like that. You want to get uh, the fame of the other brand. <laughs> Yes, yeah. it's yeah. not Tommy Hilfiger, look at Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> so yes. like, like that. All right, put in chronological order. Put this in chronological order. How can we put this in chronological order? We're going to use letters for this, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, which is the first thing? The one that the the beginning of the brand. The beginning of the brand. At the beginning, the brand is very popular, right? Or not? Maybe brand dominance. No, right? At the beginning, nobody knows the brand. Oh, brand recognition. So at the beginning is unknown brand. Oh, yes, nobody knows the product. So the first is a known brand. Yes, nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows you. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. I'm going to put six, no, 20. 20. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, let's say uh, nah, different color too. Okay. Change, change the color. Yeah. Yes, I'll change the color. What color do I use? Light blue? Yeah, let's try light blue. Yeah, light blue looks, looks good. Okay, so the first stage at the beginning, the brand is unknown. Nobody knows it. What's the next one? What is first? You recognize something or you remember something? What is first, recognizing or remembering? I recognize. First is recognizing, right? So we can say that this is B and this is C. Uh -huh. And then? All is going to be C. Yes. Okay, so very small. I change the size, but keeps people popping out really small. Okay. All right. Perhaps this size. All right. Ah. Yes, my friend. All right. What's the next one? What's first? What is the next? Dominance or top of mind? The top of mind. Oh, right. Dominance, right? And then top of mind. Okay. Why? Dominance. Because first it dominates other brands. And then that the top. And then it's the, the top. top. You you oh. the first thing that you remember. So okay. then we can say that this is going to be this they seem to be like they are the same, but mm -hmm. it's going to be yeah. B. Okay. This one is going to be D, and this one is going to be E. All right? That order. Okie dokie. So then there we go. Stages, the stages of an unknown brand, an unknown brand, then a brand that is recognized, a brand that is remembered, a brand that dominates, and a brand that is the first to be remembered and is the first in your mind. All right. I want you to look at these examples and you tell me which is which. The only brand name that, that comes to your mind now is Honda. Thinking about cars, the only brand name that comes to, your to my mind is Honda. What is that? Which of these is? Brand recall, brand recognition, top of it's brand recall. Uh -huh. The one, the only one, the only one that comes mm -hmm. to mind. It's brand recall. 
is the only one. The only one. It's top, top of mind. Ah, top mind. Yeah. It's, it's letter E. So when he say it's top of mind is number three, right? So let's put three. Okie dokie. No, I have never heard of that before. No, I have never heard of that brand before. I don't know brand. Uh-huh, unknown brand, right? Number five. Now the other one. Hey, Mitch, why don't you get yourself a Honda Civic? You won't regret it. What is it? It's so into the it's so into the brand that even recommends it. That would be letter, a bit number. B. Mm -hmm. Four, right? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Four. Four or four or three. Four or three. Ah, now I remember. We can buy Coke or Pepsi for the celebration. Uh-huh. This is three. Sorry, this is three. Okay. This is three. Mm -hmm. One. Okay, it's, it's top of mind. Okay, let me see. For razor blades, Gillette, oatmeal, Quaker, milk, foremost. For razor blades, Gillette. For oatmeal, Quaker. For milk, foremost. For oatmeal, no, for uh, cornflakes, Kellogg's. That is brand domination. So that would be four. Okay, we have repeated. Okay. So recognition would not be here. These would be examples for these ones. Okay. Why? because those are the parts of the brain that are affected mostly by the brands. Okay, let me see. Let's move to brand awareness. Okay, in brand awareness, you're going to discuss these questions. Okay, but let's do them together. Together so that you may work on the reading. Okay, first thing. What are examples of ice cream produced locally? Produced locally. Foreign. Foreign. No. Sorry? Foreign. 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 Yes. 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 Oh. Pops. 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 What's Pops. another? What is another? Neveria. 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 Sayita. Sayita. La nevería. Río Soto. <laughs> Río El sin rival. Oh, really? Never heard of that one. El sin rival. Boston. Boston. Only that Boston. Yes. Boston, too. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sombrillitas. <laughs> Sombrillitas. Okay. Sombrillitas. Yeah, not really ice cream, but wow, delicious. Yes. <laughs> Ones that are chocolate. I, I, I need <laughs> right now. Right now, no, right now. Yes, it's hot right now. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Apple. Apple. Uh, Apple. Apple. Yes. You'll you see. Okay. And what is the computer that Harry Potter uses? What is the computer that Harry Potter uses? 
HP. <laughs> NetP. <laughs> yes. Hewlett Packard. Okay. Hewlett Packard, HP, Harry Potter. Somebody say, hey, you have a Harry Potter computer. <laughs> HP. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Okay. Then the other one. Can you explain what a Kleenex is? What's a Kleenex? Kleenex is the brand. A, a face tissue, right? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. But but nowadays, I always say, give me a Kleenex, please. <laughs> I always give me a Kleenex. I, we, I have to buy Kleenex. Uh -huh, I have to buy Kleenex. Yes. We, I never say I had to buy facial tissues. <laughs> exactly. That doesn't happen with toilet paper. People don't say, yes. I'm going to go and buy Scott. No. No, I have to buy toilet, toilet paper. Ube Blanca. No, or I'm going yes. to buy... No, right? People I have to buy... I had to buy the Rinso, but I didn't buy Rinso. I buy another brand. <laughs> you have to buy Rinso. Yes. It's not really Rinso. Rinso yes. is, um, is another one, right? Yes. What's the name of, the, of now of that one? Uh, nowadays, Cedex. Um, Max, Maxi Puma. Maxi Puma, Cedex. Cedex. Uh -huh. um, it's, but the people say yeah. I have to buy Rinso. Another yes. one. Uh, the one for clothes too, but it's for ironing. The very soft clothes. Suavitel. Suavitel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have to buy suavitel, they say. Yeah. They don't say suavizador de tela. No, they say I'm going to <laughs> Yes. Exactly. So, okay. What's a cotex? We said already. It's a feminine towel. It's a feminine towel, yes. Well, I don't know if there are other brands, but that's the most common, the most famous. Cotex, Cotex Libertea and Cotex Esclavice. Yes. And also, <laughs> Liberté, Cotex Esclavice and... and <laughs> yeah, Cotex, there's another brand, Saba. Cotex I don't know. A, a la Ancha, Cotex... <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So, what about the other one? A Gillette. What a Gillette? When you say Gillette, I, rem I remember the. Ah, the, uh, the, the, the metal. Yeah, the metal that you put in the. My father used. Ooh, <laughs> my father used to use that. Yes. <laughs> yes. When I was a child, I, I was so curious and I said, what's that? <laughs> exactly. And people say G. The same happens with the machete. With machete, people say un <laughs> un because the brand is calling. It's the brand. Okay. Calling. So okay. calling. Uh, well, that Duralita. <laughs> Duralita, Duralita, mm -hmm. they don't say asbesto, but they say Duralita, it's true. Uh -huh. Another one was play, people say, that was play, I mean, plywood, but you say, the name is plywood, plywood, for plimuth and plywood, but people say playboy, that is plywood, or like say, people say playwood. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is another one that is similar to, the, to those? That you say the name of the brand, not the product. Coca-Cola? We don't say, I, I want to buy a soda. I want to buy a Coca-Cola. <laughs> so that's, but the Coca-Cola, hey, do you want to buy a Coca-Cola? Yes, make it Pepsi. No, not right. So that's another one. But there are many, many, many like that. 
The Pampers. Sorry. The Pampers. Ah, Pampers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pampers for kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So right now I don't remember, but there are other. Um, okay. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, so, so yes. names are difficult to, to remember right now. Okay, what about, what's your favorite movie theater? Cinepolis. Cinepolis. Yes. Is there another one? Cinema. Cinemark. Cinemark, Cinemark, Cinepolis, and uh, what's another one? Oh, I think that reformers Hmm? Still, cine reforma. Still, ah, this, this is cinema. It's true. Uh huh. Yeah. What was the other one? Okay, multi cinema. Mm -hmm. Multi cinema. Yes. Okay. So those are the ones. Okay. What about your favorite supermarket? What's your favorite supermarket? Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice, so nice. I don't know if Big, price mark will be a when you, go to buy, when you go to buy food and stuff like that, where do you go? To Callejas. I mean, but what do you say that? Super Selectos, okay? Most people go to Super Selectos. There is Smart Mart, <laughs> Smart Mart. There is a Price Mart, Walmart, but the main uh -huh. Maxi Despensa, uh -huh. Despensa Familiar, or, but they don't go to those, or they don't go to, what's the name of the comp super, no, Tapa Chulteca, right? Tapa Chulteca. Uh -huh. No, but people go to, or the other one was Hyper, no, Europa. Europa, yeah. Uh -huh. Europa, or Tinetti, the Tinetti, or, I don't know, but people didn't. Oh, many years ago, Todos. Todos. I remember. <laughs> yes. In the 80s. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> it was a Todos in Metro Centro, in the where now is, uh, let me see, do, where is uh, La Curazao? Really? Oh my God. Imana de Front. Oh, okay. It's the entrances. And there was a Pizza Hut on the second floor. Okay. Small train, then the most, the train, there was a, a bank, Casa. Oh, <laughs> casa, yeah. Maybe. Or casa Auromet. Maybe you remember. Atlacat. Oh, you remember Atlacat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, so teacher. Many, so many years ago. Auromet. Auromet. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and the other, the oldest ones, the oldest one, Banco eh, Hipotecario or all yeah. of them, super old banks. Bankapi. Bankapi. You yeah, really. <laughs> yes. So those are Ooh, many years ago. <laughs> so many years ago. Yes. I remember. <laughs> I remember those banks. Okay, yes. excellent. Now we're going to move to the next one. We're going to be reading, reading this and uh, discussing the questions. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the groups, but I'm going to read it to you again to set the scene. Brand awareness is really important for sales. And since sales is the purpose of a business, it is essential for all the economic activity. So this raises a question. How can I make my product attractive in the market? I need it to be seen, heard of, recognized and desired, but uh, how do I get it to happen? There are some strategies for the product to be visible, but they can be pricey. One of the things that I must understand is who my target buyer is and what he or she wants. How can I achieve this? Here is what a market study comes in handy. I need to find out who my target buyers are, how old they are, what they need, and how they relate to my product. If I find the answers to these questions, 
I can start orientating my design towards pleasing these people. Once I know my target buyers, I can learn what social media they use the most and start a brand awareness campaign in this media. Thus, I can get them engaged and focused on my, on my product. The campaign must be measurable and it must bring in enough useful information to make me, you not know, to take me to the bearings that we want. A bear service uh, based on the knowledge of the target buyers. Also, if possible, I'll associate with a famous brand that they may be re related to my product that complements it. This association can be mutual beneficial or mutually beneficial because these famous brands, loyal buyers may get a complementary product that can improve their experience. If my target buyers are young people who use Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, I can engage with them there, sharing free codes to visit my stores and get my product with an important discount. Yet, if talking gets to pushing, I will have to use traditional mass media, such as radio, a television, and newspaper. In the end, what I want is get people's brand recognition and to develop certain product loyal to improve sales. All right, so this is going to be what you're going to read. And these are the questions. Okay, who's the writer? How is he planning to gain brand recognition? What will he do if the campaign and allies don't work? Do you think his last plan will work? Suppose you were in his shoes, what would you do? Do you think you can make your brand popular? Okay. I'm going to send you to the groups and you're going to discuss. You're going to read this and then you're going to discuss the questions, okay? Okay, the groups are opening and there we go. Okay. Angelita, Don Ignacio. Me. Bra okay. Oh. You, Nelson. No, no, no. No problem. Okay. You start. Okay. Brand. Uh, awareness. Brand awareness is really important for sales and science sales is the purpose of a business. It is essential for all the economic activity. So this raises, raises a question, how can I make my product attract, attractive in the market? I need it to be seen. Here uh, hear of, recognize, and desire. But how do I get it to happen? There are some. Finish. Is continue, Carla. Okay. For block. Okay. Carlita. There are some strategies for. Uh, essential for, for all the economic activity. Hello. Um, so, so, ya lo veo, no lo veo, y si lo veo. so this raises a question, how can I make my product?
look attractive in the market. I need to be seen her of recognizing and desire, but how do I get, I get it to happen? Okay. Eh, eh, Osmin, eh, eh, ya se agregó Angelita, entonces no sé cómo nos organizamos otra vez. ¿Quieren que le Luis, este, para entrar en contexto, estamos leyendo la, eh, hasta donde llega el punto, Ángela, por favor. Eh, ok, ok. En wow. este caso, entendería usted con there are some strategies. There are some. Es de esta, chicos. Sí, esa. Ay, ok. Aquí continúo. There are some strategies that's it, that's it. for the product to visible but they can be pricey one okay. of Ahora le toca a mí, de qué punto ah, a punto. Okay okay. Okay, 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 okay. One of the things that I must understand is who my target buyer is and what he or she wants. How can I, I achieve this? Here is where our market study comes in handy, and I need to find out who my target buyers are, how old, how old they are, what they need, and how they relate to my product. Mm, me? Uh -huh. Okay. Por estar if, viendo quiénes están más, no sé a dónde. If, if. If I find the answer to this question, I can start orientating my design towards placing these people. Next. Okay. okay. Once I know my target, one, once I know my target bias, I can learn that social media. They use the mouse and start a brand awareness campaign in this media. Thus, I can get them engaged and focus in my product. Um, I start. Yes. First, yes. Brand awareness. Our is really important for sales and science. Eh, eh, Angelita, eh, no. abajo estaba la, el siguiente cuadro. Ah, ok, ok. okay. <laughs> Estoy dormida, chicos. <laughs> This company is más de... Undesigned, but how do I get it to happen? There are some strategies for the product to be visible, but they can buy per se. One of the things that I most understand is who my target budget is and what he or she wants who can achieve this. Here is where a market study Come handy and um, need to find of oh my. But how do I get it to happen? There are some strategies for the product to be possible, but they can be pricey. One of the things that I must understand is who my target buyer is and, and what he or she wants. How can I achieve this? He is, here, here is where a market study comes in handy. I need to find out who my target buyers are, how old they are, what they need, and how they relate it to my product. If I find the answer to this question, I can start orientating my design towards pleasing these people. 
Once I know my target buyers, I can learn what social media they use the most and start a branding awareness campaign in this media. Thus, I can get them engaged, engaged and focused on my product. Okay. This. Is Miss Grace a bur burger a going people? Young. Young. I hope who's in Facebook, I Twitter, or Instagram. I can engrain a win day. I didn't start selling free. Getting. Number three. What will he do if they campaign and Alice don't work? Change that the word. It's like, please. There are some strategies of the product. Important for the and session for the economy activities. So this way a question. Mm -hmm. okay. For me, is is mm -hmm. a better service. For me, it's possible. Yes. Why? Why? Um, next, the question. Sir. Mm -hmm. What will he do if the camping and alien don't work? What will he do camping and alien? Dice que hará el que hará si la compañía no le no funciona. Mm. Y... Me parece. No. No, no. No, she wants all she. Oh. 
Hi, teacher. Hello. We have a trouble with the first. Okay. Who's the writer? But I will say you are the writer. For me, it's the teacher. I'm not the writer, but you know, <laughs> he's the, the speaker. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we need to read more. Okay. Peter is a businessman. Okay. Like columnist of paper, maybe? No, he's a, bus a businessman because he talks about things in first person. And he's describing uh, the strategies that he's going to use to place the market to the yes, top. Yes, when, when you see I need, mm -hmm. I make, when you say I can learn, I can get. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, the next. Who is he planning to gain brand recognition? Recognition. Okay. With a study of market. Okay. How do you say? Is she? Okay. Which one? Who is the planning brain bread? In brand recognition. Mm -hmm. He wants to get brand recognition. How? How is he going to do that? Going to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Align with a famous brand. Starting a, a brand uh, what, what a campaign, a brand awareness campaign. And the last one, it says, if those don't work, mass media, television, newspaper, and radio. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Number three, what will he do if the campaign and allies don't work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the other page, yes. 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 Also, is possible in association with a famous brand that may be related to, to my product that complement it. The association can be mutual, mutually beneficial because the famous brands, loyal buyers may, may get a complementary product that wow. can improve the experience. Hi, teacher. Hello, I'm testing my microphone that it says that it's not working. This is a program. It's time for us to go to the main group. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome, my friends. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for practicing. Uh, practice makes perfect. Okay, so it's fantastic that you enter the groups to practice. So congratulations. Now let's see who is here and who isn't here in order to finish. But before this, 
Uh, let me. Okay. Before this, let me check who's going to be tonight. Okay. Tonight, we're going to have Adriana. Adriana is. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thanks. Okay. Now let's see. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Some people fell asleep during the practice. Okay, before the practice. <laughs> okay. Ada Patricia Linares. Present. Excellent. Nice. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Excellent. Nice. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Okay, excellent, nice. Angela Jesus Santa Maria. Present teacher. Excellent, nice, very nice. Darby Ricardo Ayala. Excellent, nice. Anonia Elizabeth Linares. Here. Okay, great. Lupe Carmen Lopez. Present teacher. Beatriz Iraeta. No. Okay. So lay lay non okay. Non Benito. So um Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Ophelia. Present teacher. Present Nelson. Nice, very good. Orellan. Here, teacher. Nice, very good. Osmin Bayer Solorsano. Present teacher, good night. <clears throat> Don Osmin, good man, good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada. <clears throat> Present. Excellent, nice. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez. Present, good night. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado. Rosita. Present teacher. Present. Nice. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Okay. Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Good night. Good night. Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Excellent. Nice. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Didn't come today. Okay. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. No. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernandez. Dani. Present. I'm Excellent. here. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Danis Adalberto Fuentes didn't come either. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present, teacher. Excellent. Nice. And of course, Jose Ignacio Franco. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice, and Carlita Vasquez. Present, teacher. Excellent, very good. That's very nice. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for staying to the end. I know that even though today is Wednesday, some people are, you know, hanging their heads. I know that you're tired, you have a busy day. So I'm going to let you go. So you can do the homework, do the homework, complete all of the things that you need. After today, we have only three days, Thursday, Friday, and Monday, and Salulu, okay? So if you haven't finished, please do so. Teacher, Practice and everything, all right? So, yes, I'm here. question, I lo decir en español. Hay una, hay una. Hay una que no he podido completar una, 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 una creo que es la segunda, que uh -huh. no le hallo, la verdad. Yo no sé si algún compañero ya lo completó. Ahí lo puse en el chat. En serio, no he visto un celular. Hasta... Ah, porque solo esa me faltaba. Ok. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Y está en el examen. En el, en el... In the case, correct. In the mm -hmm. case that there are no, uh, there are some things that don't work, report them to technical support. Because yes. I have done it and they have told me that they have fixed it. So but if you continue to have problems, report it so, so that they can fix it, okay? <laughs> because in my case, I prepare the class and I teach it, but I don't have anything to do with the platform. So I only go and check that things are there, but I mean, it's not, I cannot change anything in the platform, okay? Yes, I ask him, I ask him support okay. in the Insta4. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, my friend, that's good. Well, okay. thank you very much for, for staying to the end. I'll thank see you. Thank you, I see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. see you. Bye. Take care, see, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, be good. Bye, chicas, chicos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>. Hello, teacher. Hello, Janita. How are you doing? How can I help Hi, you? What is something that I can do to help you? And teacher, in, in the science, the study, the study English, the last year, year? and now, and, and then um, in in the in the content or tema topics mm -hmm. and topics uh -huh, in not in not clear but how how many how many um how many conjunctions oh. in the verb in english conjunctions and only uh, conjunctions and the uh, past participle Pass continue. First. Tenses. Conjunction mm -hmm. are okay. Conjunction. Ah. Conjunctions because although when since etc. Those are conjunctions. Uh -huh. I don't know. No. But tenses. Tenses. Simple present. Present. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Tenses. Mm -hmm. Tenses. Tenses. Okay. So tenses. you can with tenses. Tenses. Yes. Uh -huh. Tenses. Yes. And uh, only only past participle, past press, no, past continuous. Continuous, uh -huh. Pre Present, no, perfect present, per present perfect. Present perfect. Okay. Present continuous in the future. Yes. Okay. Let's check them. Let's check them for you to have an idea. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to share my board. Okay. Over here, I was explaining past tenses to someone. So let us see over here what we say. We have simple present. Simple present talks about re repetition of actions. Let me see if I can move this so that mm -hmm. I have access to a different color. Best color here is yellow. So let me see, mm -hmm. size I can change it. So you say simple present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me reduce it. So now nah, reduce it. That's much better. Okay. We say with the simple present. I live in San Salvador. This is something that is always true, something that is permanent, right? So simple mm -hmm. present. We also talk about things that are always true. Like um, you say, there are 
thousands of stars thousands okay oops of stars in the sky there are thousands of stars in the sky hey where did the the, end, the d go the, the the d disappeared okay so there are thousands of stars in the sky etc for the simple past, to change it to the simple past, all you have to do is put here, lived, 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 mm -hmm. lived, okay? Lived. Lived, hmm. lived, lived. lived. So, lived. simple past, you say, okay, the simple past, talks about actions that are completed in the past, finished in the past. So you say, I lived in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. For 20 years. Mm -hmm. Now I live. Now I live. Uh, I, okay, it's too slow, my keyboard. Okay, so I live in... Uh, in La Libertad. In La Libertad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I live in La Libertad. Again, capital mm -hmm. doesn't get the capitals because it's too slow. Yes. Well, that's all right. So yes. I lived. Mm -hmm. Or you say, uh, I had problems at work last night. Mm -hmm. Okay, probably you still have the problems, but you talk about when the problems were created. So you say, I had problems at work last night. Okay. Simple past, mm -hmm. past, okay, present progressive. When you talk it's about- It's the same, the pres uh, present continuum. Yeah, present continuum, okay. present progressive is things that are happening in the moment. You say, mm -hmm. uh, now I'm working on a new design. Now I'm working on a new design. Okay, or Mary is playing uh, basketball with her friends. So you can say something like Mary is playing basketball with her friends. That would be progressive. To make it pass, progressive, all you have to do is mm -hmm. um for was. I was working on a new design, playing basketball with her friends, but you have to change the time expression too. Okay, I'm going to give you different ones. Past. Progressive, not in Germany, not in German, let's say like this. Check over here. My boss was asking me about my report. My boss was asking me about my report. Was asking. So pass mm -hmm. when use uh, when use the activity finally recent. Okay, it's an recent, recently the past the past uh, progressive. When you're talking about a specific point, specific point in the past. For example, the point is in the past. Mm -hmm. okay. At 3 p.m., what were you doing? Ah, 3 p.m., uh, I was working. In the uh -huh. respond email. 
Yes, and you uh, working at 3, 3 p.m. At 3 p.m., I was working. Okay, or when you talk about a period of time, all morning, all mm. afternoon, etc. I was working all afternoon yesterday. I was working all afternoon yesterday. So you talk about an action that was long, that was prolonged over a period of time. Okay, so you say, uh, I was waiting for you. for an hour, In that case, no, I was waiting for you, not for an hour, but you say I was waiting for you when it started to rain. Mm -hmm. So I went home, it started to rain. I was waiting for you, but it started, it started to rain. So I went home. I went home, was progressive. Okay, <clears throat> let's say there was an earthquake. What were you doing during the earthquake? Ah, forget it, there was a problem. I was taking a shower when the earthquake happened, <clears throat> really. And so you had to go out like that, only with a towel, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that would be, I was past progressive. Yes. Then present perfect. Present perfect is an action that begins in the past and continues to the present. For example, it was true in the past, all the time through and to the present is true. Like I have lived in San Salvador all my life. I have lived in San Salvador all my life. Mm -hmm. So you say, I have lived in San Salvador all my life. Again, the capital. Okay, so then you say, Mary has just found a job. Mary has just Teacher, found a job. Teacher, in the have life, in, in the, the, the traducción is yo. He vivido. He vivido en San Salvador toda mi vida. Y ese, María acaba de encontrar un empleo. Has mm -hmm. found a job. Mm -hmm. Use the present perfect to talk about actions that have recently happened. Also. Okay. So mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe sometime we can continue talking about this. Now we're going to stop here in order to give you time so that you can go and do the homework and you don't have to go to bed too late, okay? Thank you very yes, much for you. staying. I hope that this little helps you, okay? Yes, yes teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you, teacher. You're welcome, my friend. Thank you for staying. Thank you. Sleep well, okay? Yes, teacher. See you, See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. Yes, good night. Good night. Yes, take care.